What is up guys, Austin awesome Nurture here and today we're doing an unboxing and opening and review, whatever you want to call it, of the Justice League DC Multiverse Collection figures here with the Collect and Connect or Build a Figure, whatever you want to call it, they call it Collect and Connect for some reason, of Steppenwolf, so we got the baddie from the Justice League movie, so these are all the Justice League characters, so from, if you see the Justice League movie, which on the day this video goes up should be the day that it's released, so if you've seen the movie, you'll recognize these characters because they're based off of their movie or movie versions. So of course we have Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman all down here. Of course we have the Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck, and Gal Gadot um, versions of them. Then of course you can't see them up here. But we have the Jason Momoa, Aquaman, um, I forget this guy's name, um, but The Flash. And then I have no clue what this guy's name is of Cyborg. And so, like I said, based off the movie version. So we're going to go ahead and open these, take them out of the box. Then, of course, we'll go look at each figure, like review them and stuff. Then we'll put all Steppenwolf together and take a look at him and his greatness, I guess you could call it. I assume he'll probably be a big character. Not exactly sure. But let's go ahead and open this and we'll go through each one. So first up here we have, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman! Um, so obviously this is the Superman from the Justice League. Um, this is the Henry Cavill version, so if you uh, can't tell the face, obviously, on figures like these are never perfect, but um, it does kind of look like him. He's got a Superman outfit on there, so it's got all the details and designs that the Superman suit has in this uh MCU universe, whatever you want to call it. Um, so he's got uh, Superman chest plate there, big and it's got all the like texture material, the belt and everything. And he even has a cape here. This, so this cape is just kind of like the normal toy cape. Um, it does have a like plastic red part up here for like the plate uh, attaching it so you don't have to worry about falling off. Like the Marvel Legends set did with the Thor and stuff. But then it's got a material cape so as you can see like kind of look what the material is made of. It's nothing super fancy or anything. But it does uh, look really cool and stuff on it. I like the way the cape fits. But of course we have Superman in the Justice League set here. And we don't know, um, well we know he's going to be in the movie. From a flashback at least from the commercials and stuff. But we don't know if he's ever going to make an appearance in the actual movie. Um, you never know exactly what's going to happen. Uh, and if he's going to appear in this suit or a different suit. You never know what's, if he's going to come back or whatever. Because you know his coffin or the stuff around his coffin started vibrating and everything. So you never know. But um, that's pretty much it for Superman. I mean, just Superman. Everybody's seen Superman 50 million times. But he does come with the head of Steppenwolf. So we got Steppenwolf's head there. So it's like all grayish color. I like his like mandible things there on his chin. Kind of reminds me of like Ivan Ooze's chin from the Power Rangers movie. But then it's got like a, a bluish metallic here and then red on top for the horns. I just think it looks really cool. So there's Steppenwolf's face. And then it also does come with his uh, like hips or I forget what you call it like waist area and so it's got the legs parts up there that you connect to and it's got like this of course like I assume to be what would be like a metal um, skirting type thing there's like a skull there and stuff and so we got those two parts of Steppenwolf so that's it for Superman and next up we have the Cape Crusader the Dark Knight it's Batman and so I'm Batman um, so here we have the Batman from the Justice League movie. So this one's kind of cool because it's different. Um, he's got a whole new set of armor compared to um, what he had in uh, Batman vs. Superman. I <laughs> think what the movie's called. Um, but so he's got a whole new suit. I don't know like what's all new about it. Just it doesn't look like it did in the suit. So we have a lot of like gray or silver going on here. So it's not just all solid black. It does have the new like fat Batman logo. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this logo or not. Um, but you know, it's still Batman. Here's the Batman with the goggles. So goggles are the things that are kind of like confusing people or like people don't know if they like them or not. So we don't know if he's going to be wearing them the whole time or if it's just like a temporary thing in battle and stuff. But here you can see all the like silver going out so it highlights the abs and of course like all the muscle parts and stuff. So he's got his, uh, I think they're called gauntlets on here. So they still have like the spikes and stuff. Um, of course his, uh, bat belt with all the pockets and stuff of all the gadgets everything all his Wayne tech and stuff and of course some more padding and armor there on his legs and then he comes with a cape so his cape is cool because it's almost like a leather like obviously it's fake but it feels I don't know how to describe it besides like a real thin leather um, but it's got some weird like material to it that looks uh, pretty cool I really like the way the look it uh, um, has it's almost like some would be like close to Batman's real cape or something but I just think it looks really cool. So it obviously, um, unfortunately, he doesn't come with any weapons like a batarang or any uh, uh, 
gun or anything, a grapple hook or nothing. Which is unfortunate, but he does come with the upper chest steer, whatever, of Steppenwolf. So, um, we got that to go. So, more armor there on his chest and everything to go along with that. So, that is the Steppenwolf piece. And so, that's going to be it for Batman. And next up, it's the Scarlet Speedster. Oh, there he goes. No, I'm joking. He just moves so fast. He's just like, nope, across the screen. Um, so, this is obviously um, the Ezra Miller. I forgot to say, like, the names of the other characters, but it's Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck as the first two, respectively. And so here we have Ezra Miller is the name that I forgot of The Flash. So he's obviously the new character. We got to see um, parts of him or uh, the little video or whatever of him and showing up in the Batman's, or, uh, Batman's vision when he was in the Batcave. And so here, he's the character I'm like most confused, not confused, but like don't know if I like him or not. And so, obviously, you can't really tell it's Ezra Miller because he's got a face, his helmet on. But his helmet looks just so weird to me. And, like, he's got the little, um, like, bolts. They're usually, they're lightning bolts. But they may be, like, wings on this one. Uh, but they're down on his ears, which is fine. But I think they'd be more pronounced up high. But I don't know if they w thought maybe people would possibly confuse it with Captain America or something. It doesn't look like the best paint job, though. It's hard to see um but then he's got a um of course like all armor chest here i like the whole design of like the silver lines all over it i think it adds a cool like sleeker design to it and stuff and just makes his armor stand out more it kind of reminds me of the like van halen uh <laughs> album cover or something but he's got his lightning bolt there on his chest of course the lightning bolts coming off on his belts and stuff and his legs the, li the little lightning streaks on his upper legs there and on his shoes of course like that i like the way those shoes look I want a pair of these sneakers so I can run real fast. like, boom. And so there's just a look at the back again with more of the lines going all over. And I just think it looks really cool. And of course, it's Flash. All he has is his speed to go off of and stuff like that. So he doesn't come with any weapons. But he does come with the left leg of Steppenwolf. So we got that leg to go on. And so that's it for the Flash. And next up, it's Aquaman. I am Aquaman. Um, so here we've got the questionable Justice League member. Some people like him, some people make fun of him. I think he's pretty cool, especially in this Jason Momoa version. I think he looks awesome and badass. But, um, you know, he does more than talk to fish. He has superhuman strength. I think he's almost like invincible, kind of like Superman. He just lives in the water, controls water powers, and, uh, like, can talk to fish, but he can call in sharks and stuff and, like, destroy people. And it's just really cool. Uh, but here, of course, it is the Jason Momoa version, as I mentioned. So you can see his face there. So he's got his long hair looking all nice and majestic. Um, he does have his uh, lines missing in his eyebrows. So you can tell that it is Jason Momoa there. The nice beard. And then, of course, his Aquaman armor. He does have the Aquaman logo there on his belt. And then the other is just um, green and gold. Um, I like how they did like this a uh, bronze. I think it's uh, bronze to kind of look like the orange of his classic colored suit, the orange and green. But I like it's got the like um, weird like texture going all over, and of course some weird details added in there. Of I don't know why he's got cool like elbow pad armor things. Looks like they could probably tear someone apart, and it just looks super cool. I like the way he looks and design, and I can't wait to see how he is in the movie. And since he is Aquaman, he does come with a trident, although the trident is all bent because of the way the packaging was. So that's unfortunate, but um, I tried to straighten it out. So may have to do something special with that to get it straight. But he does have his trident, so his trusty trident that you can stab people, like stab, stab, and control stuff with. And then he also does come with the right leg of Steppenwolf. So we got Steppenwolf almost complete now. And so that's going to be it for Aquaman. And next up here we have cyborg he is a robot um so this is cyborg obviously he's a kid that gets infused somehow with by the look of the like uh commercials or the little video they did it looks like the use of maybe a mother box got this but it infused him um with this like uh, cyborg or robotic armor and i believe he got injured of some sort and, and so i think it was like his dad or something did the experiment to try and help bring his son like back to life or uh, try and fix him or something and uh, that's how he became cyborg or whatever so he's like got his head still but the rest of him's all robot and so I think the suit looks really cool so there we got the um, guy's face and I believe the name is Ray Fisher I want to say is the actor that plays him but we got his face there and then of course the cyborg half cyborg head with the red eye that's always a classic thing of cyborg sometimes I'll have like a headband only on his head 
but he always has that eye and there's kind of a blue dot right there in the center and then we got his armor i like the whole red they added onto this and stuff um so I, I just think this looks really cool so we got all like robotic body parts and stuff here there's a look all the way around to his back so you can see like the spine stuff i just think that looks cool and so he's just all suited out in a um thing of armor so it's kind of like iron man although i think that's like his permanent body <laughs> instead of just the suit he does come with a gun you can switch out so you can pull like his arms off i believe they just come off at the like joints here like halfway up the arm or the forearm and then you just pull it off and then replace it and then he has one of his guns because he can like switch his body um like limbs and stuff into like different weapons and different types of gu uh, guns and stuff so we've got that and then he comes with steppenwolf pieces of a left arm so we have the left arm and for the left arm, we also have this giant axe, which I think looks awesome and cool. I just like the detail they put onto it and the shape, because it looks like it's just made of other stuff, like bones or something, maybe. But it just looks cool. Kind of looks like an alien head, almost. But that just looks super cool. So we got that for Steppenwolf, which we probably won't be able to get the weapon in their hands, because they don't do that very well on the build of figures. But that's going to be it for Cyborg. And last here, we have Wonder Woman. Princess Diana, or Queen of the Amazons, as she is also known. And so this is the Gal Gadot character, and so she looks just like she did in Wonder Woman movie, which was a really good movie, so I was happy about the way that turned out. So hopefully the Justice League movie will be just as good. But as I mentioned earlier, this the, the day this goes up is the day the movie comes out. So be sure to let me know what your thoughts, and I will have a review going up on the channel. So if you want to know our thoughts, be sure to look out for that on the channel, either later... The night this comes out or the next day i'm not exactly sure when we'll do it but this is just the wonder woman so she does have her t uh, tiara on her head again once again oh, i'll move it up closer here her face doesn't look that good like compared like uh compared to like gal gadot or something but you can obviously tell by the outfit that it's wonder woman um so she does have her tiara up there then of course the armor that she wore throughout the movie she does have her gauntlets as i call them like so i don't know if that's exactly what they're called or not but she has them on, of course, they're bulletproof, and she uses it to block bullets and stuff. She has a Wonder Woman armband on there, a metal one. She does have the sash on, which will hold weapons and stuff, which we'll look at in a minute. Then, of course, her high leather red boots with the high heels. I don't know why they turned them into high heels. But for her weapons, she does have a sword, which I don't recognize the sword. I don't remember it being in the Wonder Woman movie. So I don't know if this is like a new weapon she gets or if it's just some sword they gave her. Um, but I assume you can put them into her uh, sash thing here. So I assume you can stick like the sword in there. And then she does come with the Lasso of Truth, which of course is a famous weapon of Wonder Woman's. And you can stick it in. I assume this one will go on this side because there's like a little tab you can like... Uh, unbutton type thing and then hang this on there um so that's kind of cool that she comes with that and so she has the sword and lasso of truth to be a complete wonder woman figure and then we have the last body part of steppenwolf which is the right hand so we now have all his body parts so we can put that together but that's gonna be it for the wonder woman we now have all the body parts for steppenwolf so we can kind of like lay him out here to put him all together and so I'll go ahead and build him off screen because sometimes they're hard to put together and stuff. But I'll go ahead and put Steppenwolf all together and then I'll bring her eye back. So I got Steppenwolf all together now. So here he is in his complete form all together. He's not a very like cool or colorful looking character. So he does, um, we have his head up here as we looked at earlier. And I did notice he, he has the red points up top. I don't know if you can see him very well. And then the blue on the bottom, which kind of then mixes into his armor. So it's got all like the metallic blue look through it. And then like on his wrist here and stuff on each hand, it's got this red color again. So I don't know what that really has to do with anything. Maybe it's like blood. So he, you know, kills people with his hands. So he's got blood up there. And then he stabs people with his horns or something. I don't know exactly. I don't know much about Steppenwolf in general. I just know he's a like kind of like a servant or uh person following under dark side which will be the big baddie that we get to and so of course here he is all together in his complete armor as i said and then we got the weapon of course the axe but i couldn't get it into his hands so <laughs> there just have to hold it like that but just for some comparison we'll stick batman up here so you can see the size difference and by the stuff i've seen he is going to be a um, lot bigger in size compared to the these characters so he'll be like a giant 
uh, towering over them. So I think that'll help, uh, you know, add to his evilness or look of evilness, whatever. Make him more intimidating and scary for some people. Uh, but that's going to be it for this Justice League set. There are some just uh, exclusive Justice League figures out that we will be doing a video on um, eventually once they're all released in stores and stuff so they're just different variants of the characters but that's going to be it for the basic justice league set with the build a figure collect and connect of steppenwolf here and so i i think those sets overall pretty cool i think the characters look um cl very close to what they do in the movie obviously with the face stuff they can't get like an exact replica type thing going on but they do look really good and i like the way the suits look and the character like i like the way they move in a lot more and this collect and connect uh steppenwolf was a lot easier to build than like the marvel legend figures are um so i just think the set was overall pretty cool and i can't wait for the movie like i said it comes out the night of this release so we'll be doing a review and stuff so you can see our point of view on that so we'll check that out for that on the channel but i hope you enjoyed this uh, please hit that red subscribe button for me and don't forget to leave any comments you have down below for me if you have anything to say like who your favorite superhero out of this set was mine's probably uh batman just because i'm a batman fan but it, i really like aquaman and stuff too so that'd be kind of cool um, but let me know in the comments down below and we will see you next time